In this video, I'm going to show you the top five ways that the law of attraction can help you with your anxiety. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please give it a like. Also, please subscribe. I post a new video at least once a week. Sometimes I post more, so please be sure to hit the bell. That way you'll be notified when I post new videos. Anxiety can be a tricky beast. Sometimes it's something that people have dealt with their entire lives. Other times, anxiety is something that creeps up for the first time later in life, and you can't really think of any associated trauma or stress that could have, could have sparked it on. The Law of Attraction taught me that your history with anxiety, your journey with anxiety, matters a lot less than how you actually deal with it in the present moment. I had never experienced anxiety until going through my divorce. Layers of loss and stress and feeling alone and feeling unsupported and feeling scared and all of the feelings that came with being a stay-at-home mom for, for almost a decade to then having to figure out how to support myself without any family there to help lift me up. It was a lot, and I found myself dealing with not only the layers of, of stress associated with the divorce, but then the layers of stress from, from a lifetime of dealing with hard events. It was the hopelessness and the feeling of loss of control over the events of my life that caused me to say, no, I want better for myself. I know that I can feel better. And that's when I really started to explore the law of attraction and found that it was really lifting me up and providing me with some incredible tools to get through not only this time, but to reflect back on my life as a whole. I knew what it was like to feel better and I chose, I chose to feel better. Now the law of attraction was a somewhat um, unexpected tool in, in serving me through my anxiety, but in, in kind of awakening my, my spirituality and awakening my self power, it gave me that added benefit of realizing that was really diminishing a lot of the mental anguish I was experiencing through anxiety and sadness and stress and strife. So here are the top five ways that the law of attraction helped me with my anxiety, and I think you'll find it can also help you with yours. One of the things I love about the law of attraction is you can test it. You can play little games to see if your manifestations are working. You can look, look for signs. You can look for proof that it's working. And all of these, these little signs that the law of attraction was at work, that manifestation was working for me, it gave me hope. And in that hope, it helped me to recognize all the things that were working for me. For instance, claiming my own power back. When you can see that you were able to create a vision and then through the steps of the law of attraction, help that vision to come into your, your reality. It's a very powerful feeling and you realize that all the control that you ever thought that you had in the world was in fact just a false perception and that in this moment you're realizing your true power. On that same note, releasing control, another step of the law of attraction, really helped me ease my anxiety. So much of my anxiety stemmed from, from things that I believed I had control over and watching all of those things being stripped away from me. The law of attraction made me realize I only truly create what I want in life when I release my perception of controlling it. The third way that the law of attraction really helped me alleviate my anxiety was in the practice of seeking gratitude. Gratitude is a huge piece to the law of attraction because it helps you vibrate positivity. Now I want you to try this little experiment. I challenge you to think a negative thought and gratitude in the exact same moment. You can't do it. You can't feel fear. You can't feel hate. You can't feel sadness if you are also feeling gratitude. Yes, you can switch back and forth between them, but in that exact moment, you can't feel both bad feelings and also gratitude. Finding gratitude helps you see that you already have so many little pieces of your life to be grateful for. It helps you to, to find those loving thoughts for everything that you already have in your life. You, in essence, count your blessings for your current 
circumstance. Since the law of attraction requires that you vibrate positivity, this practice of gratitude really helps you draw that positivity, excuse me, positivity into your life. Since I so wanted to create my visions, I began practicing gratitude on the regular and it became easier and easier and more natural. And soon it became just my natural state of mind. Speaking of gratitude, I'd like to show some gratitude for all the kids that are making a heap of noise playing outside while I'm trying to record my video because they're happy noises. And I remind myself that there is happiness in our world if you just tune in and seek it. The fourth way that the law of attraction helped me to alleviate my anxiety was in the practice of seeking better feeling thoughts. In the law of attraction, it's very important to constantly, constantly be leaning towards better feeling thoughts. Even if they're not the best thoughts, in the moment, if you can always choose to feel a little bit better than maybe a negative feeling that you're having, it's going to help draw that positivity, those positive vibrations into your life. By choosing good feeling thoughts, you are forced to address belief patterns and other, other behaviors that may be keeping you from good feeling thoughts. It forced me to find tips, tricks, and tools for addressing my anxiety and helping me to lean into those better feeling thoughts. And with those tools, I was able to use them again and again. And so my, my times of anxiety, my times of fear, my times of sorrow, they became shorter and shorter as I became more prolific with the tools I was using. Lastly, and I might argue most importantly, becoming aware of resistance and its role in the law of attraction really impacted me in a huge way. I found that when I really embraced resistance as a positive in my life instead of a negative, that it greatly impacted how I was viewing not only the series of events in my life, but then also in the events that continued to come into my life. Now in the law of attraction, resistance is thoughts and feelings that may be perceived as negative. It is also wanting something so much that we can't be grateful for what we already have. And resistance is also those events in our life that may in the moment feel like it's knocking us down, pushing us back, that sometimes we might even feel is destroying us. But if you accept and embrace that God, the universe, is only delivering to us what we need and always with the intention of love, then you can begin to see those resistant events, those, those resistant energies as, as a benefit. You see them as growing you. They, you see them as expanding your awareness of things. You see them as healing you in some ways from old patterns. Resistance and my understanding of it through the law of attraction significantly shifted my perception of what I perceived were devastating events. As the quote goes, I wasn't being buried underground. I was being planted in the earth and this resistance, these, this perception of bad events in my life was in fact giving me that, that perspective I needed to grow and expand in really beautiful ways. So those were my five ways that the law of attraction has helped me heal my anxiety. I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that it helps you to explore the law of attraction more. If you struggle with anxiety and you are in the Denver, Colorado area, I am hosting an event specifically for sharing with you my tools for addressing anxiety, including a lot of the things that I learned along my way with the law of attraction and cognitive behavioral therapy. The workshop is November 11th. I will post the link below so that you can sign up. If you are not in Denver and you have a large group of people that you have who would participate in this workshop, please just send me a private message, give me a shout out, and we can talk about how I can bring that workshop to you or even do a live webinar of, of the workshop. So just communicate with me, we can make it happen. Thank you all so much. As always, I'm wishing you a day full of light, love, and abundance.